Hello everybody. I was just sitting out here having some coffee and I noticed something about my tomato plants that I thought was important to show you. But first I'd like to show you my black cherry tomatoes. These cherry tomatoes are huge. These, This is the biggest black cherry plants I have ever had and there's still quite a bit to go on the growing season. They're enormous. Look at this fruit cluster down here. Look at that. Okay. Enough bragging. This is really what I wanted to show you. And it's uh, different types of things on the leaves and uh, what I believe them to be. Can you see this? Uh, little brown sort of circle spots. I believe those are insect damage which that isn't gonna hurt the leaf very much and so I leave those on by all means somebody correct me if I'm wrong but I believe this is insect damage okay moving on I always say I want to make these videos short and I think this one finally will be. We'll see. I'm going to try just to get right to the point. While I'm walking here, I want to tell you that I used the other half of my antacid bottle. Um, I just wanted to make sure these plants got enough calcium right away. I'm going to go out and buy another bottle. And uh, I'll keep that on reserve and do that in another week or so. But just to be sure, I used the other bottle, I watered my plants with it, like I did before. Okay, uh, first thing, these curled up leaves here, that's called leaf curl. And it's harmless, it just means the plant got a little dry or a little hot. And leaf curl, though it doesn't look very nice, is not a problem to worry about. My camera can get in focus here. There we go. That curling of the leaf right there and there, that is not a problem, even though it looks unsightly. Okay, here's another mark on the leaf I would like to show you. Can you see these marks here? Sort of uh, brown, sort of some of them are in form of lines. Uh, that was from the hail, I believe. I believe this, the hail, made these marks on these leaves. And the reason why I believe that is because I've got other plants that are not tomatoes that look exactly the same from the hail. So, so far, I've shown you three things that are harmless, but I am always on the lookout for something and I finally found it and I felt this is the reason why I decided to show you this video and here it is you see that brown spot with a halo of yellow that to me is danger that to me says you've got a fungus as soon as I saw this I picked off the leaf and I'm gonna throw it away in the garbage and here's another leaf that I picked off. To me, this is fungal disease that will rapidly spread throughout your tomatoes if you don't catch it in time. That's why it's so important to come out and look at your plants every day. Come out and look at your plants, especially the lower leaves. Get any leaves that are touching the soil off the soil or cut them off. And if you see a leaf that looks like this, you have to get rid of it immediately. Look at the end down there. That's, that to me is danger. Now, of course, if I'm wrong, anybody, let me know. But this is the way I see it. And I'm keeping my eyes peeled on these bottom leaves for yellow, for brown patches with yellow halos or any kind of yellowing. That to me says, get those things off right away. I would like to put a call out. I want somebody to tell me what I could use as a fungicide 
that I might have in my own house, in my own kitchen. Is there such a thing as a fungicide that I can use from just household ingredients? That's my question. And if there isn't, then I would like a recommendation on what you guys use for your tomatoes as a fungicide. All right. So that's the end of my video. I made it short. Just a little uh, lesson that, on what uh, you know, what markings on your leaves are, what they look like, uh, what they might be. I, I've told you what I believe they are, and I would like to be corrected if I'm wrong. Um, oh, one last thing. You see that mark up there? I might have been tempted to call that sunburn or blossom end rot, but blossom end rot is always on the end of the tomato. I think that is a hail mark. A piece of hail dented there. It's made the fruit look a little bit imperfect, but uh, it's, it'll taste just fine. Anyway, that's it. That's my little video for the day. Thanks for watching.